This is the Peugeot 308 and here come all the things you are going to love about it. Of the four cars that this competes against, I think this looks the best. For instance, what other car in the world has these distinctive front claws? Never mind, this is a hybrid which uses petrol and of course you plug it in. The result being a quiet, efficient, glidey mini spaceship. Yeah. Glidey. Inside you get the very addictive eye cockpit which is unique to Peugeot and also this delightful square steering wheel and here is the price. Up here you can find out how much one of these would be per month. It's a clicky thing. Here's the clever little engine which and they've thought of everything because you can have a diesel, a hybrid, a petrol and an electric. Yeah listen to that. It's like a little hair dryer. Love that, it's cute. Guess how much miles to the gallon? 281. On to controls. If you're not familiar with the wonderful world of Peugeot and their spaceship controls, here is how you change your gears. This is your drive mode selector, your automatic handbrake. You've got a USB in there and something for your house keys. I don't know what that's for. Maybe for the actual car key itself. Another USB here, the cup holders, and this is the most unique place to put your phone. I think in any car, the design is brilliant. You won't think about using it. Don't even touch it. The police have new cameras now they can catch you thinking about using your phone. These are excellent as well. I call these the piano keys. They're not piano keys, but we can do um, a G flat. And then these are digital and I call these hotkeys. That's not what their name is, but when you hold this one, so you've got navigation, media, phone, application drawer. I'll just quickly show you that because you've got games. So you can play noughts and crosses. Yeah, w why wouldn't you? You could be when you're charging for a little while. Now the maps are fantastic and this is a nice thing. You press and hold any of these buttons and you can create a shortcut so you can decide what you want on each button. <laughs> Who needs buttons though, because this has a very nice voice activation system that I found myself using every day. Okay, Peugeot, do I need a raincoat? No. Is there a car park nearby? Here are some results within 10 miles. Navigate to Buckingham Palace, London. Navigating to Buckingham Palace. It's too hot. Decrease the temperature. I'll quickly show you the boot because um, there is 412 litres of space, which means nothing, but you can, if you do YouTube, you can get all your gear in there. One thing you might not like is the fact that when you put the seats down, they're not completely flat like you get, for example, in a Golf. But 412 litres of space is actually more than the Golf, and that's clever. It's not really that clever. There's less legroom in the back. Simple, really. There's the leasing.com umbrella you can just about see. And here is a special link, top right, you can click to get the cheapest monthly payments. 180 horsepower and when you've charged it up you can do 44 miles of electric only range which I think is very respectable. It's beautiful to drive and that means because it's a small battery you don't need to potentially charge it out and about. You can just use a normal plug at home, a 13 amp one if you want. Just leave it leave it running overnight. Change the tariff, away you go. Brilliant. A thousand miles to the gallon. CO2 is good, not a thousand, but CO2 is good. 24 grams per kilometre which which means your company car tax, if you've got one of these, £600 a year, company car tax, good. This back design is interesting too because these three lights at the back, when you light them up from a distance at night when you open the car, they're very bright, they look great, I think also sort of works well with the front. And again, it's a nice, aggressive, sporty back. But by the same token, there's some nice accents here, like these chrome things that are supposed to look like exhaust. The badge is brilliant these days. It's, well, it's been like that for years, isn't it? But, and then there's a sort of a curve and a little bit of design under there where you open the boot. Back onto women. Did you know that the CEO, the customer synthesis manager and the head of product at Peugeot are all women and they are the most stylish cars on the market today. And therein lies the evidence women are brilliant at designing cars. Being honest, the only way to experience this car properly is to always keep the battery charged. Without it, you may as well get the petrol because it will drive better. With it charged, though, you'll easily get a week's worth of electric glidiness and it's probably the quietest for road noise. Well, that's not all because this is a very exciting car to drive around in. It is set up for 
a combination of sport and comfort. There doesn't seem to be any traditional wallowing that you might get in a previous generation Peugeots. It feels like it's going head to head with the Golf and the Focus and all the others. It's a very pleasurable thing to pilot, in particular the square steering wheel and the lightness. If you like a light steering you'll love this, if you don't you want more feeling you won't. There's just enough spaceship in here and just enough car. You feel very relevant driving this. The materials in this car are not cheaper as you might expect them to be because it's lower down the range. In fact with the Peugeot you get the same car all the way down and all the way up. You just get a little bit more space. So essentially the way to look at this is it's a very small 5008 or 408 or anything else. The quality is exactly the same. Things like bits of, oh, well, this is not carpet but it, it's supposed to look a bit like carpet and then there's a bit of leather and a bit of stitching and then obviously the plastic. But what's interesting about this door is this door is very heavy, it's surprisingly heavy and it makes a brilliant sound when it shuts. A reassuring expensive thud. So we have a small car that potentially looks better than most of the competitors. The seating and quality of materials is slightly better than most of the competitors in the same price and it's exciting to drive around in and it has the most unique cockpit which doesn't look cheap and toy-like. If this one small-ish car of the year at some point I wouldn't be surprised at all. Small favour to ask if you have got this far, thank you very much, here is your round of applause. If you can, leave a like, do the subscribe thing and hit the notification bell or leave us a comment, tell us what you think of this car, the design or in general anything. You want to talk about anything, it's fine, we read all the comments, I read them all myself you know.